What's up everybody? Welcome to the Phage Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan and if you are new here, thanks for joining us and if you are a subscriber, welcome back. Today on the table I have a product from Mayono, I believe is how you say it. This is the AUWM730. I have to make sure I get that right. Everyone's using freaking letters and numbers for their products these days and this is a wireless microphone and wireless audio transmission system. This can be used for doing video, it can be used for speaking and it can also be used for transmitting audio between different PA systems and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, this was sent to me by Mayono, thanks to them for doing that, um, but everything that I'm going to say today is my own thoughts. Um, I've never dealt with this company before and I have no problem talking about the pros and the cons, um, but judging from the experience I've had with this product, um, I really liked it. And so on this video, we are going to show you everything that comes in the package. I'm going to show you how to get it set up, give you a quick sound test of the microphone in action, and then let you know whether or not I think this is worth picking up for yourself. So let's get into it. On this channel, we always start with the packaging. I think it says a lot about a company. And as this is only my second Mayono product, the other was a pair of uh, headphones. Um, I like to see, once again, that they really show that they care about the packaging of their product. And to me, that means that they put thought into it and it wasn't an afterthought, which on the whole makes me think that the product is well designed. Um, this looks like something you'd pick up in a store, which on this channel you know is a good indication. Um, and it just has a lot of information about the product. And on the side it says uh, you got a large display, that you have the ability to do attenuation and low cut on the uh, microphone transmitter, zero latency, and then on the back you've got a few other specs. This is a UHF microphone. It has different connections like 3.5 millimeter tip ring sleeve, um, a cold shoe mount, and all sorts of things which I'm gonna show you in the unboxing. But uh, packaging, A plus from me. So let's pop this open. Um, if I can get, there we go. First thing you're going to notice is inside of the box is another case. Uh, this actually comes with a sort of protective travel case, a hard plastic with latches here. This is good if you're like a working DJ like myself and you go out uh, and do events and you need you know, it to be protected on the road. I like to see that they included that. You don't just have to take it in the uh, included box or buy another road case. So that's really nice. Popping it open, uh, another great thing about this system is that all of it fits in like this really hard molded foam. It's cut out specifically to fit the equipment and so it's going to be, again, protected in transit. And in here you've got your receiver and your transmitter and then a space right here for all of your cables, your microphones, uh, the adapters, the, the uh, cold shoe mount, everything fits right here. I already took out the manual. It was sitting on top of this. The manual is well written. It has very clear diagrams and pictures. So if you haven't used a wireless lavalier microphone system like this before, it will walk you through everything that you need to do. So for someone like me that does YouTube reviews that uses my DSLR, I love that they include this cold shoe mount. What this is, is if you've ever seen like a DSLR uh, or like an you know changeable lens camera, it has the little slot on the top that you can put a flash. And if you don't have a flash like me, you can mount other things like a microphone. And so with this, I can take the uh, receiver, which is this one right here. Uh, I can just screw this cold shoe mount into the bottom like that and then I can mount this on top of the camera so I don't have to like have it dangling off the side or anything like that. Uh, while I've got this in my hand let's take a look at it. This is the receiver so this is what will go next to your sound system or next to your camera. Um, you've got a few buttons right here. This is the main function button which is how you access different settings and then you've got a left and a right to adjust the parameters right there. On the top you have two different outputs. One is the main line level output where your signal will go to your camera or to your mixer and there's also a phones output so you can monitor the signal coming out of this with a pair of headphones. It has an antenna on top, it has a belt clip, it has a few indicators right here at the top AF which is the uh, presence of an audio signal and then IR which is the presence of the wireless transmission signal. It also has a little battery indicator here so if you're getting along batteries it will flash and let you know. The transmitter is very similar, same function button, side to side buttons right here. You also have a little toggle switch on the side which will allow you to change from negative 10 dB to 0 dB to plus dB. 
10 dB and also a low cut. So it will cut off the low rumbly frequencies, which will get rid of some of the movement noise of your microphone if you're using this for speech or spoken word. Um, on the other side, you have a power switch that has on, off, and mute. So if someone's wearing this, they can reach down, slide that, and mute the microphone temporarily. I don't like that it is on the side of the microphone. Usually a nice mute button's on top so that you don't have to like kind of fumble uh, as much, but that's just me being nitpicky. It works just fine on the side. Uh, to put batteries in these, these are powered by a pair of AA batteries. It has a little compartment right there on the side that you just pinch together and pull out and you can put your batteries in there. Battery's not included, so I'm gonna have to throw some in for our test. Up on top, you have a microphone input where you can plug in the included microphone, and you also have a line-in input where you can plug in an audio source. And for me, this is why I really love this system. As someone who is a DJ who sometimes does events where my main system needs a satellite speaker to cover a farther distance or you know a group of guests a long ways away, I can plug the output of my speaker or of my mixer into this and send a signal to a second set of speakers uh, you know, up to 100 meters away, it says, so 300 feet. I have not done that far of a distance test with this yet, but uh, that's pretty standard claim for microphones. Uh, you know, easily 100, 150 feet you should have no problem with this system. So that's the receiver and the transmitter. Uh, they also include a little uh, jumper cable here, so to go from the microphone receiver down to the camera or whatever else you're using. Uh, this is tip ring sleeve to tip ring ring sleeve, uh, so it has the uh, extra ring there. You also have another cable which is just tip ring sleeve to tip ring sleeve. Uh, they include two of these uh, clip-on holders for the lapel microphone, so you get two of those, and they're good metal, nice high quality, not like the one I'm wearing now, which is plastic and breaks quite frequently. And then you have the microphone right here, so that's the capsule, there's the plug-in, and they include two of these little wind socks right here to prevent wind noise. So I can actually just slip that over right now. Um, if I don't get it all bunched up here. Um, wow, this is embarrassing. You, you wouldn't know that I was a DJ for the past 10 years <laughs> with how I put this on. There you go, just like that. Uh, and it fits really nice and it's very slim and not too um, you know intrusive or noticeable. So I like that. So microphone, two jumpers to connect the receiver to your audio source, and then a pair of clips and a pair of windscreen, all in a really nice robust case with hard, you know, cut out foam uh, for transport. So enough talk, let me plug this into my camera and as soon as the screen jumps, I'm gonna have the audio switched over to this system. All right, so this is how the Mayono microphone sounds. I've got the clip on lapel microphone on my shirt right here. I have the transmitter in my hand and then I have the receiver mounted to the hot shoe on top of the camera. I don't know why that took so much to get out of my mouth. So this is what the screen looks like. You have a readout of what frequency you are using. I'm on 910 megahertz right now, which uh, I have to admit is not in the band that I would have expected, which is the 500 megahertz band, which is what I believe we're supposed to be using. So uh, maybe you can get one dependent on your region. This was just sent to me, but um, depending on where you're at, you can probably get an adjustable frequency band. You can also change the frequency. There's 48 different channels that you can choose from on this system. I'm on uh, channel 16 right now, which is working fine from here to the camera. The display also has a signal strength meter. Uh, that glare is kind of bad, but there is a readout of the signal strength uh, as well as the battery life and the um, strength of the audio signal. So everything you would need to see on a display, and just like the box says, it's very big and easy easy to read. One of the things I really like is that the cable screws in to the top of the transmitter, so there's no chance this is going to pulled out, which is really nice. One thing I don't like is that the cable is not exceptionally long. Um, it's long enough to go down to a, to a belt pack, but if you've got... Um, where this is normally going to be, by the way. But if for some reason you need extra cable, you don't have extra. Um, so I like to have more than I need just in case. Uh, so if you do run out with this, you're kind of out of luck. You need to get a longer one. This will easily, you know, is more than enough to go down to your belt, which is where this is going to be 99% of the time anyway. So that doesn't matter. One other thing that I would like to see is a little more weight to the unit itself. It's, it's very, very lightweight before I got the batteries in it. Now the batteries are in it, it feels pretty good, but it, it felt a little uh, lightweight before, but I mean, that doesn't mean anything if it works and it, it lasts, um, which it has so far. Um, I am plugged into the microphone input right now. I am on the zero dB 
uh, setting, so I'm not adding or subtracting anything from it. If I slide this up to the base uh, removal button, the low cut filter, let me do that. Okay, so, oh, hold on. All right, so this is the low cut option. So this is taking out some of the base of my voice. We'll see how that sounds uh, on the video. And uh, this would be an option you'd use, again, if, if it's mostly for speech that you're doing, you're not transmitting music through this. It will just kind of remove some of the unwanted low end from voices that you don't need anyway. Setting these up was really easy. There's no pairing process other than making sure they're both set to the same channel. Once that happens, you're good to go. It's transmitting. It's going right to the microphone. Um, and the setup process is very easy. You just hold this function button until the uh, channel Channel starts flashing and then you can slide the channel buttons left and right to go to the correct channel that you need. I'm not going to change it right now because you're listening to this, uh, but that it's that easy. It's very simple. And the manual is full color, well not full color, but lots of pictures, step by step, very easy to understand. All right, so that is a quick look at the Mayono AU WM730. This is a perfect system for people that are doing vlogs, people that are doing interviews on a camera and need a wireless microphone, or people that are just in a studio like me and don't want to like be tied to to the uh, tripod if I need to go grab something or whatever. Um, it also is gonna work great for people that need it for public speaking and especially for those of you that need to transmit a audio signal music from one area of a venue to another, which for me is the, by far the best component uh, of the system. It works really well with the line input and I like that they included a separate line input because most of the time you just have to go into the microphone input of the unit and like turn your volume way down and uh, it's not ideal. So the fact that they have a dedicated line input for music is fantastic. All in all, very, very impressed with this Mayono AUW730. It gets a seal of approval for me. It's affordable, way less than you know, name brand Sennheiser, sure. And uh, some people crap on the uh, off brands and say, nah, like I, I don't want a part of that. But to me, honestly, there are some amazing amazing deals to be found if you do a little digging. And hopefully this video was part of your search for something a little more affordable uh, for your DJ, your speaking, and your video production uses. I really appreciate you watching. Hopefully I've earned your subscription. There's gonna be more tech reviews, headphones, earbuds, uh, speakers, cameras, all sorts of that stuff on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and you won't miss any videos. If you wanna pick this up for yourself, of course, link down in the description. You can buy through there, support the channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber and you can share a comment if there's something you want to see in a future video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.